Hey guys, we've got Angel over there and Bear hiding right down here. Anyway, uh, so I wanted to talk about a phenomenon that is resolved by dual subwoofers. And that phenomenon is something I call Swiss cheese base. I don't know if I've heard it before. Maybe someone else came up with it before I did, but uh, to me it just explains what's going on. And what it is when you have a single sub, okay, let's say you just don't have that one there, and, and you just turn that subwoofer on, uh, you can run through some frequency sweeps and you'll hear the bass, you know, once you get down under say 100 hertz, you'll hear the bass, you know, just kind of coming in and out, getting louder and quieter as it goes down through the sweep. So as you're watching the numbers drop from 75 down to 60, down to 55 and all that stuff, you'll hear it get louder and then quieter and louder and quieter. And that's a standing wave effect. Okay, now when you do dual subs and you run through that same frequency sweep, that effect goes away and you hear that tone evenly from the point where your subs start kicking in all the way down to where you can't hear them anymore. And it's not perfectly even, you're not getting, uh, you know, it, it's not, you know, there is no such thing as bass perfection, but the difference between a single and a dual when you hear that uh, is substantial. I mean, it's just a lot more even when you're going through that sweep with dual subs. And that's because the, the standing wave in the room, it changes, okay, with each frequency. So let's say the standing wave is shaped like this at 55 hertz, and then at 60 hertz, it's shaped like this. And so the points throughout the room where you've got nodes and modes or dead spots and loud spots, whatever you want to call it, that shifts with each frequency, okay? So with each frequency in the music or the movie or whatever, there, no matter what you do, if there's a standing wave because you only have one subwoofer, no matter where you sit, no matter how well you place that, no matter how diligent you are or how much room EQ you've got or any of that, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be in a dead spot at some point within the subwoofer range. Okay, so at some point, you're going to be in a dead spot. And it just doesn't matter how good the subwoofers are. It doesn't matter anything. It's just a matter of fact. With, with, a, with a single source of bass, it's going to create that standing wave within an enclosed room. And so when you listen to music, you're going to be missing some frequencies because no matter where you're sitting, you're in a dead spot at, at one particular frequency or another. And so that's what I call Swiss cheese bass. Now, when I first went from a single to dual subwoofers, it was, it was confusing what I was hearing because I went from a much bigger sub to the small PB1000s, the smallest subs I recommend, and they weren't necessarily deeper. In fact, they were, you know, uh, they only went down to 21 hertz with with oomph and they, you, you heard them at 19 but the other sub went down to 14 hertz in a room so they weren't necessarily deeper but there was more bass uh, and that's because it wasn't missing throughout the range because that that standing wave got knocked out and it's more I don't know I don't know how to explain it but the waves interact and create more of a a plat effect so you don't have as many peaks and you don't have as many dips it just kind of they all react and you know, if you go and stand like way off to the side, you'll still get a dead spot because you're away from the from the main cones. But pretty much whenever you're within this general area, the base is almost always even. So that's one of the things. But that Swiss cheese base is frustrating. Uh, when I went back to a single subwoofer for it was about a week, it really bugged the. I mean, just bugged me. I'm like certain things. I, I I'm used to the same music. You know, because I always go back through and listen to the same stuff. And things that were there were no longer there. But if I moved over a few feet, those things were there, but the other things were gone. <laughs> so that's the Swiss cheese base that I'm talking about. That's the stuff, that's the that standing wave effect. And that no matter where you stand in the room, uh, if you've got a single sub, it doesn't matter. It's You're going to be within a dead spot somewhere. And I've, I've talked to a few people about this, and there have people, been guys that said, Hey, you're wrong, man. I've got only one subwoofer, and I don't have that suck out. I don't have that, that deadness anywhere. 
And I'm like, well, okay, this does not make any sense to me. And it turns out that he had these towers that had subs in them. And those subs would actually be audible down to 20 hertz. Now, they weren't audible and strong like a, a good sub would be, uh, you know, like the subs on the list. But it produced enough uh, of that low frequency signal to get everything to interact. And that, that subwoofer he had was essentially acting like a third sub, not a single sub, because it had subs in the towers. So that was one of those things. But every time someone says, oh, you don't need a, you don't need dual subs, this and that. I mean, I've had uh, people that work in the pro audio industry tell me I'm wrong. I'm, I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. A single sub will get it done. And then, you know, I think what happened is they were used to dealing with outdoor stuff. Indoor stuff is a little bit different because of that standing wave effect. You get less of that when you go outdoors, um, you know, because he was talking about comb filtering. And comb filtering happens a lot, particularly outdoors, because it spreads out and there's nothing really to reflect off of. And, you know, it, comb filtering becomes an issue. But indoors with duals, you get a lot less of it because you've got reflections and stuff inside. So, but it's one of those things where if you've got a single sub, you're, you're just going to have that, that standing wave. And it robs, I don't know, I'd say probably about 20 to 40 percent, and that's just purely a guess, uh, of your bass response because somewhere within the room you're going to be in a dead spot. So anyway, I just want to talk about that Swiss cheese bass. It's something that I wasn't even aware of until I got dual subwoofers. And then once I had them for a while, I went back to a single and I could actually like articulate it. It's like it's like the certain spots, like Swiss cheese. You look at a piece of slice of Swiss cheese. Most of the cheese is there, but there are little holes. Sometimes big holes, sometimes little holes, and it's just all just kind of missing. So that's why I came up with Swiss cheese base because it was just wasn't complete. And you know, with duels, it's more complete. And of course, you can run you know three, four subs and stuff like that. I mean, you can really go nuts with this, and you know, get a uh, a mini DSP two by four, uh, which is a you know it's a it's a DSP that uh, is just for your subs, and you can fill in certain things, and with those you can adjust four different subwoofers at once, and really just fill the room in. Uh, I have not gone that far. For me, it's kind of just keeping it simple. This is a mixed use room. This is also my living room, so it's a little bit more difficult to put four subs in here. Uh, two was a stretch, and it as it is, <laughs> but two does a lot and you know once you go to four you know it, you're getting pretty advanced uh not that i'm saying it's not worth it you know if you've got a dedicated room and you can do four subs more power to you i'm envious uh but for most people uh two makes a heck of a lot of sense uh, but anyway i just want to talk about the standing wave effect uh, let me know if you guys have any questions on this or are curious i've been trying to figure out a way to visualize this and I've had a heck of a hard time doing it because it's not, it, it's hard. This is all invisible stuff, right? All of this is just completely invisible. It's all perception. You don't have, I mean, like I said, you can have graphs that point to things and, say, and point out what you're missing, but you can't really look at a graph. I mean, you can, you can see that, you know, certain things fill in with duels, but you really can't see it as well as you'd expect. Uh, the graph gives you a little bit of information, but really when you hear it with your ears, it's like, oh, so it makes a big difference. But anyway, guys, uh, sorry to ramble on. Uh, that's just kind of the way I do things. But uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and please subscribe.